today we're going to learn how to do CPR. So I'm going to give a scenario, and as I'm giving the scenario, I'll guide you the steps of the CPR. So uh, I'm walking in the park, and I see a guy fainted on the ground, passed out, unconscious. Okay, I'm walking, and that's the guy right there. Show me, guy. Okay, so I'm walking. Do, 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 do. Oh my God! Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm tapping his shoulders lightly, so in case he have a neck sprain or neck injury, I don't hurt or harm him in any way. Try to get his attention. Yell really loud. Are you okay? Are you okay? This is to make sure he hear you, or make sure he knows he's talking to you, that you're talking to him. Okay? So now, he's unconscious, and I'm trying to see if he's breathing, so I'm checking. He's not breathing. So, he's not breathing, so I give him two deep rescue breaths and hold his nostrils so no air escapes. Okay, now you check to see if he's still breathing. So I listen, you do, you listen, and you feel with the air, so if he's breathing, you'll feel his air, you feel on your air, and you're looking at his chest to see if it's inflating and deflating. All right, I'm looking, he's still not breathing. So now I give him 30 rescue, 30 um, pumps, chest pumps, or chest compressions. I go deep, about an inch and a half or two, and make sure when you release it, you let it go all the way up, so the chest can get the full compression. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. But before or during you're doing this, make sure if someone's closer, close to you, before all the steps, make sure you tell someone loudly and make sure you state it to them. Don't act them, can you? Tell them directly, like, you! Get the police! Call the ambulance! Call 911! So they get your attention and they call them immediately. If no one's around, call with your own cell phone. Okay? So after you give them your two rescue breaths and your 30 chest compressions, you've done one cycle of CPR. Alright? You want to do about five cycles until he start, the person starts breathing again or until um, you're relieved by a medical, a medical person or um, any other, somebody else, okay? Um, make sure you don't um, get over the person like this. You want to make sure you're on this side so you can be able to see his chest compression or def deflating to make sure you're doing it right so you can see, feel, and hear. Do not saddle the guy or girl. You might hurt them, okay? All right, so that's all. Thank you for watching. Peace.